What is that? What is that? Um. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to call. My phone's dead. Why? I need to call somebody. Okay. Let me get the phone. Alright. Um, DGG, hello? Why is there a mute? Whoa, a weird looking. Robot crawling on the ground like a spider. Oh, it escaped. Oh, just eliminate it. All right, I can do that. Hold on. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I think I got it. Let's see right there, an the entry point. But um. Yeah, I'm not going to show this on the video. Let's just say it looks pretty weird. Is this the one? Huh. I want you to see uh, this. Ooh, I'm sorry to any uh, viewers who saw that. They might have just. Nah, I'm not. I'm. I'm just gonna just stop playing with this. Cause there's a certain few amount of people who would go. Who would like. Get hurt. Oh my! This flashlight is turning on by itself. I'm turning. It, no. Watch me throw it over there in it. And it's. It just turned on by itself. Let me throw it over there and it still turns on. Turn. Alright. I don't want nobody to see that, so I might just edit that out. Yeah, I'll just take my knife. Hmm. We get another. This is another version of the knife that of this. You might be wondering, how did this turn into this? Hold on. I'm just gonna just clean off. Boom, this knife became the one with all the. This, this one became the one, one that has a sign of elimination on it. And this one became the clean one. But now what to test it on? A helicopter, for example. These are toys that I got like three years ago. Helicopter, for example. This is just a tutorial of what knives, if you were giant, and what knives would do. And now a regular human being. Complete body decapitation. Now, um. The RC helicopter. Now this has a thinner layer right here. So this would be very easy to break. Three, two, one. You. Wrong. 
Alright. Now, for example, the handmade grenade. So, what you need to do to pull the grenade is you need to pull the pin and then throw it. But if you uh, take this off, you see all those little like little like packs right there in the grenade. All those little packs. Those are full of little tiny spectre, spectre, like the size of air particle bullets. So if you were to eat one of these, you would turn into a bullet bomb. But people call these grenades. They think they are explosions. They're not explosions. There's just like one million tiny little guns. Pull the pin, got like five seconds. And then all those guns are going off. And that's you like do that. And then and and it just triggers automatically. It's like it just triggers completely automatically if you pull this. So if you see one of these, it might not look like this. It might not be this small, but it has this. This. If you see one of these and it has like a line like this, warning. You might be able to hold it. Do not throw. Do not pull this pin. Well, if you pull the pin, do not. And I repeat, do not set it down, nor do this. Don't do that, nor set it down. So what you want to do is you either put the pin back in the grenade, or you throw it as far as you can away. And then if it creates like a little fire, put it out instantly. Or else you're going to be a California forest fire, forest fire creator. That's mean. Why would I say that? I'm just playing. But, um... <clears throat> These are actually in military. This is the 19 World War 2 World War 2 grenade. I think <clears throat> my voice is gone. World War 2 grenade. You pull this, throw it. I'm not sure about the grenades now. The grenades now might be you pull this and you have like three seconds to throw it. But the grenades back then, you had to pull it, pull the pin, then throw it for it to explode. Grenade on impact. <clears throat> but that should create like grenades. You see this little like zone right there? That should be like a jet. And like a, there's a camera on it, and you control the like grenade. And then let's say it was like this helicopter. Like I throw the grenade, like this helicopter drone with the, uh, the and this is the gun. I'm telling you, military should be having to where they create robots, like human robots. On they don't have to risk any casualties, and they like do the job for them. I mean that's a smart idea. They already create. Uh, drones that fly in the sky and that pretty much do their job for them but they need to create ground soldiers like one if there's an enemy in a building you need to like this act like I'm a robot I move in I eliminated him but look, look, look. I'm hiding I'm using skilled mark to my advantage I get eliminated my friend robot eliminates him and now he's going to like um, I'm not sure if they could revive each other, but like repair the dam, repair the damage that was done to my car to the robot. I mean, it's very simple like that, but actually, it might not be simple. You might have to add like so much stuff. You might have to add wires, all that. But one robot cr could be like it could take like a day to create, and that's worth it. One robot that could pretty much clear out an entire building by itself one day the, you could send out one of those robots and it could be one man army and then once you start creating and once it's been like 13 years it's been like 
almost more than a thousand robots created. So you can send like 30 robots on each mission. That's gonna do so much damage. One building with 20 people with like 20 super soldiers with superpowers. 30 robots with super so with like very good reflections. Re reflect reflections very good very good reactions and that like use flashbangs and ARs and stuff they could take down those super soldiers if one can take down an army of soldiers I mean technology can go to advance I think um the military created like a dog or something don't ask how I know this don't ask. Just don't ask. They created like a dog that patrols around their camps and outposts or something. I'm not sure if that's real or true, but I mean, saw it on the website created and started with you in Android Tube. So maybe that might not be real, but I mean, robots can go can go to tiny house vacuum cleaners to uh to uh <clears throat> like you saw uh like three chapters ago at that stark industries those robots how they were like that you can like hack the robots antivirus protection and all that on the on your robots and you're good but i mean robots like those uh stark industries robots those were overpowered so i mean it, it doesn't matter about the aim of the robot, just the strength or something. And that thing can take down like Fortnite, Fortnite technology, <clears throat> Fortnite, Fortnite logic, <clears throat> Fortnite logic 1.1, 101, <clears throat> one, uh, one, uh, Stark Industries robot. With the enough, uh, with the enough, what am I trying to say? With the enough, with enough, like, luck. He could take down, like, 30 people, as long as those people are not, like, ninja or, or Tifu or something. As long as they're not them, but... I mean, they need to take robots to the advance, or they can only be shot. Like, you know in those games where robots, you have to, like, get to go behind them on their back and then shoot them? Imagine having those robots, but their back is protected. So, pretty much, they're pretty much walking death machines. Walking elimination machines that cannot be eliminated. I mean, you think about it. Tiny, tiny little specks that can explode, but so many swarms, like, but they can be created within like what 30 seconds in like 13 years. You have like 40 million of them by then, probably more than the army, than the army squadron. Now, you see, like, when there's, like, lights shining in from the window, I just saw one now. There was, like, a little speck. If those were, like, explosives and they can explode, they might do a little, they might hurt, like, a lot. But they're so small, you can't see them. And there's, like, a swarm of, like, 500 coming at you. And they're created in 30 seconds. Just think of that. Alright guys, I think I'm in this video. I've heard it like when subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm just talking about robots. They should be adding for robots to Fortnite. I mean Fortnite can be much stronger and overpowered for some people. Anyways, peace.